what's up and welcome to another recap. It's been three months since the last one. Not much has changed visually, but a lot has changed under the hood. Under the hood of what? And game, and a game engine written from scratch in OpenGL and C++. And now Vulcan 2. You always on my mind. Yeah, in my head I define wanna see you. You when I see you, when I, when I, when I Fuck a 9 to 5 I'm at it at the seaside, wanna see you A C, C++ plus plus in my dreams too When I, when I, when I So where were we? I remember We've done a little multiplayer playtest Implemented a bunch of weapons and some physics And I don't know, but I do know I'd run like shit so I deleted it, rewrote the renderer from scratch with an OpenGL plus Vulcan backend and I can cast fucking rays now. But let's back up a bit, there are many ways to render things and there are many ways to store the data you do render. But the best way is to store all your vertices in a single consecutive buffer and index into it when you fire off your draw call. Now listen here, you can wrap these draw calls in what we call a multi-draw indirect call. Draw your whole scene in one shot, no CPU overhead. So I rewrote it like that. Now I had the backbone of that rendering in both OpenGL and Vulkan, even ray traced hard shadows in Vulkan, which is pretty sick. Reflections for the first balance, so I began to add the other lights back in. Next, lighting, the color, you know, the actual color. Got that, GL shadows mapped and fucked around a hack two and four player split screen in. Next few streams I got more shit back in. Always on a rewrite, it's the only way to get it good. So I added back debug lines, muzzle flash, casings, glass, bullet decals, and light globes for the dark. But the next big thing was ray traced in direct specular highlights. Never done that before, made up the math there, so gonna have to revisit it. But basically reflect the ray out of each fragment, take the color of the closest hit and see what shit happens. Next up was blood because I've been neglecting it, only sticks to the floor, but I want it on everything. Yeah, it's one for later. I'm coming back for you. Then I did compute skinning, but I'm coming back for you. Next thing I fixed was weapon management. Because it was all hard coded in the player class and a fucking mess. There's a type now, one for ammo and attachments. So working with that. I added the golden glock, golden knife, scope and the red dot. Silencer and the laser. Next with the help of a library called Tiny CSG, I added constructive solar geometry. It's pretty sick, there's just cubes you add and subtract to make shit like holes and doorways. But I'm actually gonna scrap it, take the time, roll my own like cigarettes and foreplay. He's crazy. And then I did melee for the shotgun. Yeah, bitch, I'm grinding this shit, baby, daily till the job's done. Next thing I hit was dogs. You can't have a survival horror game without dogs, can ya? So I took a crack. Now I'm not gonna lie, they came out very, very fucked up and janky. But hey, it's the first step. It's the first step. Iterate. Good Gucci flip flops. Fucking hit your bitch in the sack. First thing I needed was some pathfinding, so I hacked up some A star. I know that means I'm confined to a plane. Fuck it, fix it later, and I have. But anyway, then it was a matter of getting the dog to follow the path of the player. Jump and attack, and I don't know, kill you. Watch the stream. It's pretty messy. Then I did stairs, which was easy as fuck compared to dogs. And that's about it for this three months. I don't know, this video was due out ages ago, so I'm gonna cut it here and just get to work on third quarter medley. Thanks for watching, hanging out in the chat, and for just being you. Graphics programming is hard, very fucking hard, but you'll get there, don't give up. Keep your mind on the shit you want and off that fucking shit you don't. Peace.